Hi, and welcome to my channel. Today's video subject is National Parks in the UK. National Parks were introduced in the UK in 1949. They have two key objectives which are to preserve the countryside and to promote the public leisure of the area. National Parks are areas of wonderful natural beauty that deliver the possibility for recreation. Some national parks comprise many honeypot sites. Honeypot sites mean certain places within a national park with lots of visitors. National parks need to be looked after and maintained to prevent the huge number of visitors from destroying the attraction. Where are the national parks in the UK? There are 15 national parks in the UK. 10 in England, which cover 10% of the land area, 3 in Wales, covering 20% of the land area, and 2 in Scotland, covering 7.3% of the land area. National Parks in Scotland Cairngorms and Loch Lomond and the Trossachs National Parks in England Northumberland Lake District North York Moors Yorkshire Dales Peak District The Broads South Downs, New Forest, Exmoor, and Dartmoor. National Parks in Wales, Snowdonia, Brecon Beacons, and Pembrokeshire Coast. Managing National Parks Many types of people use the UK National Parks. Managing these different groups in terms of land use and conflict can sometimes be very difficult. A list of some types of groups who use the parks. Farmers, these keep animals and grow crops. Holiday makers and day visitors, come on trips, example to hike or climb. Nearby locals, they need houses and places to work. Mining companies, quarry for rocks. The Forestry Commission wooded area is protected and new trees are planted. Conservationists want reserves to protect wildlife. There are many problems within the national parks. For example, too many visitors in a place can damage the environment that they've come to see. Much of the land inside the national parks is privately owned, and the owners might not like people roaming throughout their land. People can also additionally purchase second homes inside national parks due to the fact they like the surroundings. This pushes up house prices for the locals. Footpath erosion is very common in lots of national parks and steps have to be taken to restore and maintain paths. Methods of protecting footpaths include Marking routes to direct site visitors away from eroded areas. Fencing off eroded paths for a brief time to allow them to recover. Reinforcing the floor with tougher materials. Okay, that is it for today. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Hope to see you all next time. Thank you for watching.